G'day guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. And if you're an old moldy hat like this one, welcome back to another vlog episode of Vogus Prospecting. I'm about to explain why this is a vlog episode and not episode four. But before we get to any of that, all I've got to say is one thing. Gary Two Toes, this video is all because of you, even though my plans did go slightly sideways today. Today ended up being a day of crevicing. I found some pretty good gold, check it out. Oh man, Gary Two Toes, what can I say? Sitting on the couch, at home, minding my own business, with the phone in my hand, watching his latest sniping video. And at first, he does this. And then right off the bat, I spotted the piece of gold. And then, this happens. And after pulling everything back a little bit, do a little fanning. I spotted a really nice piece of gold. This one was large enough that I was able to pick it up with my fingers. And you better believe that my gold fever went through the ceiling. So I'm out here to try sniping myself for the first time. I've done river treasure hunting, but I've never sniped for gold. Got my wetsuit. And we're going to try and find some gold. The only major issue is there's no guarantee I'm going to find anything because the creek that I've come to doesn't have plenty of nuggets. I've found quarter gram bits, but not huge bits. I don't know. Let's get going. I thought I'd going to jump straight into sniping. I wanted the sun to get a little bit higher and for the, for the temperature to come up a little bit. I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time working some dry crevices like this one uh, and just finding some gold while we wait for that temperature to come up but for those who are uninitiated gold sniping is literally putting a wetsuit on face mask snorkel uh, and some underwater crevicing tools just scrapers pry bars things like that and we go hunting for bigger bits of gold it's something i've always wanted to do um, and i've never had the opportunity to do it last summer i bought all the gear uh, like wetsuit and face mask and stuff but it just didn't happen i went river treasure hunting i'll leave a link for that video uh, in the description below. I found a really expensive lure and whatnot. That was really cool. But we're going to try and find pickers. Now there's a good chance that when I do this on this creek, I'm going to blow away a lot of the ultra fine gold. But that's not what it's about. We're in search of a piece of gold that would make up for all those little pieces that I'm probably going to blow away. So <laughs> hopefully we'll have some luck at our side. If not, it'll be a hell of an adventure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that bodes well. If this is what the rest of the day is going to be like, this is going to be a mad day. First pan, tons of gold. It goes to show you, like, this is this is a $5 pan from a junk store. Uh, it's only a it's only like an eight inch pan or something, a 20, oh, it's a 26 centimeter pan. That's it's very, very little. I just pulled out a mammoth amount of gold for the first pan of the day. You don't need the best equipment, you just need the right spot. Let's keep scratching cracks. Sounds a bit dirty, doesn't it?
even more gold. Not as many. But some. You fell over. Put your back. This turned out to be an awesome little crack. Not tons of dirt, but like really tight, really, really nice. There's a couple of really small pinch points here that I can't fully clean out, but a new tool that I picked up from an automotive store has made that so much better. These are uh, upholstery hooks. Uh, well, that's what it said on the packet. So obviously for refurbishing cars and whatnot, but they are absolutely perfect scrapers. You get like four different ones in a set. They're only a few dollars and they get into the real tight little cracks like this one down here and they help you get those last little bits of dirt out look at that that's a gold take what a crack first two cracks of the day have been epic there's got to be more of them like the temperature is still cold like i know i'm in a t-shirt but i'm wearing i'm wishing i was wearing a jumper maybe stifing was a terrible idea today I don't know. <laughs> I found a really good looking crevice. Check this out. Look at this. So, obviously we've got fast water coming up over this bedrock absolutely everywhere. And this is a perfect little eddy hiding away. And it actually gets sucked in back underneath the rock. good not as good as the first couple of crevices uh, a couple of micro dots but i can't get in there properly i've got a feeling that right at the back of that hole because it's, it's deep right at the back of that hole there'd probably be some good gold <laughs> the bloody temperature is getting colder oh, everyone else i know everyone else in the us and, and england and everywhere everywhere it gets cold and ice and snow and all that lovely stuff's gonna be like stop being such a sissy and get in there it's not even cold but i'm australian and yeah, our country is pretty much on fire right now so it is actually on fire in queen all of queensland's on fire like that's how hot it is it is hot out here so it gets to like 10 degrees and that would be like you experiencing our 40 degree summer day it's cold and i'm allowed to be a sook so i'm going to keep crevicing until it maybe maybe warms up i got two crevices one there and one here and they're both absolutely full of gravel packed in so We'll try and clean them out as best we can. I left my bloody yabby pump at the car. I might have to walk back up and get it because because it's a good tool. It's a very, very good tool. <laughs> one micro dot i gotta go get my pump given that the car is like 500 meters away and it's up a really really steep hill i've learned sort of a magic trick when it comes to summoning things you sort of just you sort of just get your hand like this and then then if you just think really really hard about the thing that you want and you sort of just go ah ah there you go We gained a speck. Yeah. I'm not really feeling that. There's just, just nanos in it. We could do better, especially with the first couple of crevices we got. I did see, however, one more good looking crevice just down here. This one.
definitely in the right spot. A uh, little scratch off the surface. Look at the lead we got. Lead and gold. All right, this is a crack worth working. Second pan out of that crevice and we're getting some nice little bits. Real good. I think I've given up on the concept of uh, sniping today. I'm gonna have to come back and do that video again. I think that's what prospecting is all about, adaptation. Lucky I bought my crevice tools. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call easy gold and easy shotgun pellets. Bit of both. I just got my foot wet, but I made up for it with one, two, three, four, five shotgun pellets, one nice bit of gold, and a few other micros. Winner, except for that. I shouldn't have laughed because I immediately fell over after that completely saturated both shoes lost all of the gold out of the pan <laughs> all plans are good ones until they start seeing action Man, they're just disasters let's try walking over there again <laughs> put me actual creek shoes on they've got a sole designed to stick to slippery granite they're gonna hopefully dry with all the sun that we've got today. Beautiful sniping weather. <laughs> um, I'm gonna finish that spot off. Go, oh, I lost all the gold. I don't even know where it went. I just went Bleh! And then that was the end of it. That's the boil hole that I didn't pull too much gold out of. And I just looked further upstream, not very far obviously. And there's this really big long crack running along here. And you can see bits of rock and whatnot jammed in it, which makes me think that perhaps this crevice is actually collecting the gold before it even reaches any of those other pockets. So we'll clean that one out and test that theory. That's not too bad. We got one nice big bit of steel, a few shotgun pellets, and a decent amount um, of micro to mid-sized gold. Because that bit of rock just there actually blocks this crevice off from the main water flow, I can drain this. So I've actually sucked all the water out of my yabby pump, and now I can clearly see the rock that I've got to work. And we're going to spend a little bit of time cleaning this properly because I did one pan and I got some good micro gold. Um, the yabby pump's too fat to fit down the bottom, so we need a way of scraping it out and removing the water is the best option a little bit of a tip if you are working a crevice like i am now where your yabby pump won't fit in there you don't have enough um small suction tools to get into those fine crevices and you've drained the water to work the bottom gravels often you'll find there'll be a layer of water centimeter or so thick that you can't get out of the hole without swishing gravel everywhere and it just becomes really tricky well the trick is to grab a handful of dry dirt like i have and sprinkle it into the hole and it works like talcum powder it basically absorbs all the water um, that, that's sitting in the bottom of the hole you scrape it out with the dirt that was at the very bottom you have to work a little bit of extra dirt that probably doesn't have gold in it but you will be able to collect all of the dirt that's sitting underneath that water that you can't move with any brush or anything else so really handy little trick very easy to do Okay, that was well worth doing. That last pan after I put, um, put that dirt in there and managed to scrape the bottom out was by far the best pan of the day. Let me wipe your lens. <laughs> and um, show you the gold. Look at that. That is a pan. There'd probably be 70 bits of gold in there. A few shotgun pellets. That's... 
I'll make sure that's definitely 100% cleaned out. Um, but that's that's an awesome pan. Good on you, little crack. I, th I think that theory was right. Obviously, this crevice was collecting all the gold before it got into the other ones. <laughs> Now, on Vogus Prospecting, there is one very, very interesting thing that's going to happen in the next oh, couple of weeks. In the next couple of videos, um, I've, I've got to give a shout. I've got to give a shout out to an absolute champion of a bloke who got right behind the channel and did a massive, massive favour for me. Uh, his name's Blake and he's from Blue Dog Prospecting. I have linked his channel in the description below and I implore you to go check it out to say thank you for what is going to happen in a couple of weeks. I can't tell you any more than that, but believe me, when you see it, you'll be just as excited as me about this whole thing. Blake, thank you, mate. Absolute legend. Check out his channel below. Now, as you may have noticed, I have sort of skipped over the fact that season two is puttering along and there's one really simple reason for it. When you're doing something in the creative process like I do, I really enjoy filmmaking. Having freedom to do the things that you actually want to do is incredibly important. Otherwise, the artwork, or the videos in my case, that you're doing becomes kind of constrained and, and it leaves a bit of a bit of taste in your mouth. At the moment, I'm not feeling like progressing with season four. Um, I'll probably get to it at some point in time. Just right now, I'm really enjoying coming out and making these sort of videos for you guys. So I hope you are enjoying them. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you did enjoy this vlog episode. Remember to leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of it and what you would like to see in future episodes of Vogus Prospecting because that helps me gain some ideas and some insight to what you guys like to watch. Remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button because that helps me grow the channel bigger and better for you guys. I am absolutely oh, sore. My butt hurts. Peace. And I'm out.